episode of PC Repairs for Dummies. Now again, in this episode, we're going to talk about virus removal from a non-working computer. Now the reason we're going to talk about this is I've had heaps of emails about it, particularly in the last month or so. There are quite a few malicious viruses out there that will not allow your computer to start normally. And uh, when you try and start them in safe mode, which is normally how you would remove viruses from your machine, uh, they will not allow your computer to start in safe mode either. As soon as you try and attempt hitting the F8 key on startup to uh, put your machine into safe mode, uh, your machine just shuts down. So, how do you remove viruses from a machine that won't start? Well, I'm glad you asked, because I'm about to tell you. <laughs> now, there are a few things that you're going to need before you proceed with this. Uh, because what you're going to be doing is you're going to be taking the hard drive out of your computer or laptop. Now, if you don't already know how to do that, then uh, I probably wouldn't proceed with this repair if I was you. I'd take my computer to a repair shop. You'll also need a working computer. In this case, I'm using one of my old laptops. And you'll also need one of these. Now, this is called a data dock or a hard drive dock. And uh, I'm going to show you how this works in a minute. Now, these docks simply plug into the USB port on your working computer. And they used to be a relatively expensive piece of equipment, but they're not anymore. You can buy them at most uh, electronic stores these days, and they only cost around about $50. Right, I'm gonna show you how this data dock works. The first thing you need to do is uh, remove the hard drive from the machine. In this case, it's a desktop machine. Now, for the purpose of this exercise, I've already disconnected the cables and taken the screws out. So this is what your hard drive looks like. This one is a Western Digital one terabyte drive. And uh, this machine is infected, so we're going to remove the viruses from this machine using a data dock. Now these data docks simply connect via a USB cable to your working machine. Make sure that the dock is turned off before you put the hard drive in. Then you simply slot the hard drive in like this, and you turn on the dock, and then your computer will recognize this hard drive as it would any other hard drive, let's say a portable hard drive or a hard drive fitted to the machine. These are a great little gadget gang and if you're into a little bit of computer repair, you really should buy one of these hard drive docks. They're a fantastic investment. As you can see there guys, the computer has picked it up and uh, in this case there is three partitions in this drive. Uh, I wouldn't get too concerned about that. Your drive will probably only have one partition or maybe two. It might have a system reserve petition, um, you don't have to worry about that. Uh, generally, the, um, the, the, the section of the drive that you'll want to scan is, uh, is data, if it comes up with data, and certainly system. They're not system reserve, you won't need to scan that, but uh, certainly the system section, which uh, basically holds all your Windows files and uh, all the files that normally get corrupt by viruses. Now, to scan, Firstly, uh, you will need some sort of uh, software installed, already installed on the machine, uh, to do your scan. Now, most of you know that I like to use Malwarebytes. It's my favourite uh, software for removing viruses, uh, and I would encourage you to install Malwarebytes if you don't already, and you can get that, just Google it. You can, it's a free download, and uh, even the free version is a good bit of software. Now, I must stress, you need that installed first before you proceed with this. All right, now I'm going to show you how quickly and easily it is to scan your drive. Okay, so we're going to click on my computer right here. Now you will see now that uh, the drive has been picked up as any normal drive on your computer. So there's the C drive from the laptop. But this system G is the drive that we want to scan. So what we're going to do, this is really simple, gang. You're just going to right click. And uh, because you've already got Malwarebytes installed, yes, haven't you? <laughs> One of your drop-down options in the menu here is now going to be Scan with Malwarebytes. Okay, Scan with Malwarebytes. We're going to left-click on that. We're going to click Yes. All right, and Malwarebytes is going to start and it's going to scan that drive. So you can see it's automatically started and it's gonna scan the drive. Now something else that's very, very important, gang, is that um, is to not have any insects flying around while you're trying to shoot a video. <laughs> so 
Something else that's really important is that you need to make sure that Malwarebytes is updated uh, before you do this scan. So I would encourage you, um, before you scan the drive, to open up Malwarebytes and uh, just click on the Update tab there on the Update button and let it update and get the latest virus databases before you scan the drive. Okay, that's really, really simple. Now, what I also like to do is uh, once you've scanned the drive, you can then put the hard drive back into the computer and uh, the computer will start as per normal. I then also like to run Malwarebytes again uh, on the machine that you put the hard drive back in just to clean up any, um, any registry entries or whatever that still might be there or any bits and pieces of uh, registry entries. Uh, you guys also know that Hitman Pro is another program that I like to use. Once again, uh, you can scan the machine once you put the hard drive back in, scan it with Hitman Pro and uh, basically that'll just clean it up and your machine will be running sweet as a baby's bum. <laughs> All right, gang, I hope that helps you out. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of PC Repairs for Dummies. Love yous.